it normally. They are not happy. Good morning. Good morning, Link. Good morning, Waffs. All right, my milky girls. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good morning, Patty. You guys ready for breakfast? Ready for breakfast? Yeah. in production today and I think that's because we locked them out of the big pasture so back out they will go today having second breakfast it's really helping her um, she's in such good condition really this is probably the best she's looked in a while definitely not producing that milk the way I would like so more alfalfa for her so today I thought that I would talk to you guys a little bit about the differences between Nigerians and pygmy goats. It's something that I get asked a lot. People get them confused. People are like, oh, you have those pygmy goats. No, and there is there is a difference um, and they're used for two different things. So I thought today maybe we would talk a little bit about if you should get a Nigerian or a pygmy, what the differences are and like what the best thing for your homestead would be depending on what you're looking to do with your goat. Good morning. Locking up uh, with tying up Pixie's leg. That is working really well. My hands are appreciating it. We still have not had our hay delivered. We talked to the guy this morning and he said tomorrow. So all our animals are still in weird places. I do have sort of a plan to move the pigs and goats around. The pigs really need some more grass. What they have right now is weeds. So I may try that tomorrow. It's just a pour down rain all day today, so I'm not gonna move anybody for it to just rain. You ready for breakfast?
brief history of the pygmy and Nigerian breeds. They actually come from the same kind of group of breed of goat that was imported from Africa into the States called the Western African Dwarf Goats. They're imported for like zoos and pets and stuff. As the breed kind of developed, they had two kind of distinct breeds come out of this group of goats, the pygmies and the Nigerians. The pygmies, they originally were used just as pets. They used them in um, research, like medical research and different things. And they were used in zoos just because they're fun and cute and those kind of things. The same with Nigerian dwarf goats. Good morning. You guys, how you hanging in there? I wish that this was not the place that we had breakfast. Let's have breakfast in a different place. Come on. Come on. Let's come over here. Yeah. Let's have our breakfast over here. and 90s two kind of distinct groups of these goats started to develop so pygmies and Nigerians and the pygmies were shorter stockier meatier goats and the Nigerians were bred to look more like a dairy goat to be long and lean and fine boned so Nigerians are usually a little bit taller than pygmies so they're on the 22 inches 20 to 22 inches tall Pygmies are 16 to 20 inches tall, so about the same height, but Nigerians are a little taller. Nigerians, at most, about 75 pounds, but pygmies, about 88 pounds. Good morning, pygmies. Are you guys ready for breakfast? Come on. Toonie, ah ah, Toonie, let's go have breakfast. Come on. Oh, wow. Pygmies are a stockier, meatier goat, and your Nigerians started to look more like dairy breeds. But they really didn't focus on breeding those goats for dairy until kind of later on in the late 90s and early 2000s. So Nigerians weren't even recognized by ADGA until 2005, so they're a pretty young dairy breed, but that's basically their focus. So pygmy goats are meat goats and can be raised as meat goats. I would think similar benefits to the Nigerians and that they're smaller, that take up less space, they eat less, but that you're still gonna get some meat out of them. All right, buddies, you guys ready for breakfast? Come on, walk. Let's have some breakfast, come on, Link. the big girls out. They're ready to go. Look at them all staying in here. So I would really love for them to continue to eat this down and eat this down. But my milk production really suffered yesterday and it's going to rain today. So we're going to put them out in the big pasture for today. Right. 
Need to get mom and cat some food. Nope, she's good. Doing good. Doing good, Shadow. And the jelly beans. That could be your YouTube channel, Shadow. You could be Shadow and the jelly beans. They're gonna be fun here in about a week or two. They'll be doing all kind of crazy things. Right, Mama Cat? What goat would you choose, pygmy or Nigerian? It really depends on what you want your goat for. And these are my opinions. You can take them for what you want to. If you just want a pet, in our area specifically, pygmies are way more inexpensive and available to buy as pets. People just breed them for pets. I don't know a lot of people around here that breed them like for meat. Boar and Kiko are pretty popular around here. My recommendation is if you just want pets, Pygmies actually might be better to look into than Nigerians. They, you're not gonna get a naturally pulled pygmy. Nigerians are the only ones that are naturally pulled, but you can dehorn a pygmy, disbud a pygmy the same way that you can a Nigerian, if that's what you wanna do. If you want a milk goat, then Nigerians are definitely the way to go. Nigerians make excellent pets as well if they're readily available in your area and they're not super expensive for a pet, then pygmies or Nigerians would make great pets. But if you want milk, definitely have to go Nigerians or a dairy breed. Pygmies are not a dairy breed. They're not bred for their dairy characteristics. They're bred to be stocky and meaty. The dog is not locked up today, but he's choosing to be in this pen, which I find hysterical. I think he's, he didn't think he could go in here and I think that's one of his favorite spots is under these trees. I think he's happy to be there again. What do you think, Big Pig? Are you being kind of mean to Toomey? You kind of have been. You've been kind of mean to her. I know. It's not nice. It must be a nice pig. Yes, let's be a nice pig. So what do you guys think? Pygmies or Nigerians? What are you thinking? What's right for you? Are you guys more, I want a goat for milk? I just want a pet goat. It's always the really hard thing for me when selling my goats is that we work really hard to have really nice dairy goats and that's what I focus on with my breeding. And I'm thinking about next season doing milk testing and really figuring out which of my girls are the best milkers. I mean, I have opinions, but they may not be the right ones. And a lot of people wanna buy pets from us and they're like, oh, they, you know, we want to buy, we just want for pets, but they, the goats are expensive, more expensive than a pet, you should pay for a pet goat. And so I think pygmies are a really great option because I think a lot of people breed pygmies for pets instead of having like registered stock. Now you definitely can find people that raise Nigerians for pets. So that's my thought. Pygmies, meat, great little small meat goats and pets. Nigerians, great small dairy goats and pets. Leave me a comment, what do you think? Pygmies or Nigerians? Did you know that pygmies and Nigerians were two different goats? Did you know that pygmies were meat goats? And I, I mean, obviously if you've been watching our channel, you know that you can milk Nigerians. Um, but what do you think? Leave me a comment and let me know. I have some peppers left over from lunch. Just a little snack, these pigs. Hello, Toonie. Big pig. There's a big pig. Napping in the straw. Here you go. Is that good pork chop? Yeah. How are all the, the jelly beans? They're getting their feet under them, aren't they? I know, mom will come see you and pet you a little bit tonight, okay? Pepper's taking a nap. Are you napping, Peps? Mm, is this a good spot for you, Fern? Just 
Pepper. This is just his personality. Hey, Pink Peps. Are you taking a nap, buddy? Hmm? Are you just itchy? So funny. She's just checking to make sure she doesn't have anything else. Waffles, are you in your house ready to go to bed? Are you in the house? The bedtime. cat's having dinner and she has an audience because I of course have the camera so like everybody needed to stand here and try to eat it like almost every goat we own except for Cece and Pop Poppers which doesn't make them good goats it just means that they hadn't quite caught on yet all right come on kiddos let's have some dinner today's video. I hope it was helpful understanding the difference between pygmy goats and Nigerian goats. Maybe trying to figure out what's right for you on your farm or homestead or just for you to have for fun in your backyard because who doesn't want just a million of these guys? They frustrate me sometimes but I love them. Yes Patty we love you even if you're silly. So if you like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so that you know every time that we put out a new video so you can see what craziness these goopers are up to every day here on the farm. We love you guys, we appreciate you. We're so excited for those of you who are new to the channel. We hope you love our videos. Leave me a comment about what you think about pygmies versus Nigerians. What do you think? Leave me some feedback and we'll see you guys in the next video.